Summer Hunter, and today is day number 226 of 365 Days of Awesome. Celebrate success through service. And I have no idea if anybody is going to even be able to see this because of what's been happening with my Facebook page over the last 24 to 48 hours. It's been quite a little uh, um, episode. And yet I just thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go live and see, number one, if anybody gets notified and number two, what happens. But I have I have some important things to share. So I'm going to go for it. And hopefully some people will find the show again. Uh, number one, I want to say thank you to all the fans and all of my friends all of my buddies, um, all of the people that, uh, all the service heroes that rallied around me when um, I've been put in Facebook jail. And then um, I have had this ever so interesting episode of being locked out. And so thank you. I also want to talk about something very important today. Uh, I, I did state that I am going to be talking about a service hero concept, and I'm actually going to be talking about one of our, our service heroes. She's also our senior ambassador of Kimura Buddies for Life, um, the Buddies Network. We're healing through connections. And many, many people know her throughout the world now because of the work that we've been doing together. Um, the, I titled uh, this show, How to Support Another Going Through a Crisis. And in some ways, it's almost like, how do I even support myself going through this bit of a crisis that, that we've been going through over the last few days? I haven't gone live over the last few days. Um, Oh, yay, a friend. Hi, Amy Morrison. So good to see you. I'm glad that you're here. I, I hope you were notified that, that I went live. I'm finding that my Facebook page is not completely back to uh, normal yet, but that's okay. We'll get through this. Um, I'm, I'm going to be talking about some pretty heavy stuff, guys, and I hope you don't mind me wearing a hat. <laughs> and and um, coming to you real. Uh, this has been an exciting time, and I, I have a feeling I know why I was blocked out, maybe, of, of Facebook. Oh, good, good. The notification worked. Thank you. Thank you very much for letting me know that. Yay. <laughs> Something. <laughs> um, uh, I haven't been live and, and I'm going to explain why, because I've been given some permission um, to explain what's going on. And I have these images that I started the episode, today's episode, number 226, with to show support. Because um, the Camel Buddies for Life program is something that was started in concept a little over maybe about a half a year, a year and a half to two years ago. However, in practicality, has been um, alive and going for over a year now, close to a year and a half. And through that, nearly this whole time, I have um, been uh, assisted uh, and partnered with my buddy, one of my buddies, one of my very first buddies, other than my original co-founding buddy, but one of my first buddies has been Sharon. Sharon, many people know Sharon, uh, Sharon Nichols Ward. Um, and she has not only been there for all of the chemo buddies, she's there for everybody. All the service heroes, all of our friends throughout the world. I mean, this woman, we have to get on her to sleep because she's afraid that she's not going to be there for someone that she is going to miss being that person that someone needs to talk to in the middle of the night no matter what time zone they're in uh, someone to get a, have a giggle with someone uh, she's someone that supports us all she's someone that is absolutely has the heart of all outdoors and 
Um, she is definitely everything that epitomizes the Chemo Buddies program, um, the Buddies Network and Healing Through Connections. As, as you've seen, the call for prayers for press warriors, and as I had put it, and has been corrected, um, but for energy and light and love to be sent, we're now going to say peace, comfort, and love along with the prayers, because I know that not everybody is religious, but everybody can send healing and 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 love, unconditional love to a woman that has been there for so many people. She's currently, I have permission now to say, she's currently in ICU on, on support. She's on machines. And um, I'm gonna read something um, from the family uh, that I have here uh, so that I get it right, uh, what I've been permitted to say, and so that um, I say it correctly, is that, um, that, and it's, uh, she has a very social, uh, you know, I've been adopted by this family. I've been, we're so close. And um, thank you, thank you, Amy. Thank you for sharing, because this, this is an important segment um, for many of us that know and love Sharon and many that have been so unselfishly giving of their time and energy for for healing love and prayers to be offered up in this amazing woman's behalf um and um thank you for the love and thank you for the hearts uh uh, what I have here, because uh, <laughs> the jig is up, her, her her daughter started posting and her son-in-law, who have been in contact with me also, as well as her mother, um, have been posting. So <laughs> her mom said, okay, Tamara, you can tell everybody what's going on. So this is what um, I, I have been able to say. And one thing, too, I want to share is that Sharon's mother is as incredible as Sharon is, uh, their story is pretty incredible. Is is pretty heartwarming. It's uh, tugs at your heart strings. Uh, I know it does mine. Uh, Sharon has shared with many of you that she had a sister and lost her to a brain tumor, brain cancer, when they were when she was young, and uh, her mother was sharing more about her sister and her sister was an older sister and helped Sharon a lot. And, and then, um, and then her mother had Sharon and they have been best buddies and sidekick and going on adventures and, and living life together. And for a while now, it's been that Sharon's been a shut in. She's international as our senior ambassador, and yet she has not been allowed to go in her backyard because she has been being treated for stage four cancer. And yet she has the energy and the love and the, the, the overwhelming spirit to be there for others through our program on an unending and never ceasing way. And this last Friday night, this last Friday, she had a major heart attack. She was at home. She was rushed to the hospital. And her family is, is saying that um, Sharon believes in the buddies so much and she loves each and every one of the buddies. She believes in the zero service heroes so much. She believes in in the good in the world. She believes in healing. She believes in prayer. And she is a true prayer warrior, even though Chemo Buddies for Life has a philosophy that we are not taking a religious stand because we don't want to exclude anybody from having a buddy. But we are talking about an individual right now, the senior ambassador of Chemo Buddies for Life, and she is a prayer warrior. And right now, those that believe in prayer, it would be great for us to share it with her and in her behalf, because there's good news in all of this story, guys. I may have a little bit of the tear thing going on. Um, thank you so much, everybody that's commenting um, so much. We, You know her, Amy. She's so wonderful. 
Thank you, Jody. I so appreciate it. I believe too, I have seen miracles. People that were supposed to die in six months that lived for 34 years, one person being my mother, I'm, I witnessed it. I know the power. And the good news here is that she's still with us and it's Wednesday. And um, uh, the, the message that I have been given by her, her family to be able to share is this, is that she loves the buddies and that, um, that right now she is on life support. She has pneumonia and um, liver and kidney failure. Um, yet her heart, um, her, her will to live is showing through. Um, the doctors are saying that, um, and we know that uh, her mother feels as though she does hear and she is aware. And I know because of my senior ambassador, Sherry Watson, who was in a coma for for a very long time and ended up being one of the senior um, uh, uh, contributors for the Americans with Disabilities Act because of the brain injury that she did have that put her into the coma. And afterwards, she went around and said, everyone, do you are you aware that the person that is in the coma is totally aware of you being there and everything you say, they are aware of it. And Sharon's mother is totally in agreement with this. And she knows that we are there for her. And I have no doubt that she believes that that because we had this discussion just within this last week as I've been running for this, the next impactor and 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 our goals for Chemo Buddies for Life and having a goal, global <clears throat> network of buddies. Her mission here, I believe, and I believe she believes is not done. So I'm talking about her right now and where I'm going with all this is, is when someone is that you love, someone you care for, someone you possibly work very closely with, someone is going through a crisis. It can be a health crisis. It can be a financial crisis. It can be, um, I live in Southern California. We have many of the wildfires here. It can be a loss of all your possessions and and where do you go now maybe even your job was burnt up and you know everything has to start over it is a change in the status quo that can create a situation that stress and 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 a, a longing for um it to be better takes place and when we see those people we love and care for going through this one way or another sometimes people retreat they don't know what to say oftentimes i know i've been a cancer patient and yet when i have had some of my friends personal friends um end up being diagnosed in the very beginning uh, before i started chemo buddies for life i had a problem it was like what do i say and then it was like Tamara, you know exactly what to say say i don't know what to say but i'm here for you be there for them like these images, I, I grabbed a few more. Um, I'm going to share, and then I'm going to share a few more things here. Um, you know, it can be that someone has a pet, and and they gain comfort from that pet. And allow yourself to laugh if the person is going through a struggle. And uh, one of the buddies, one a while ago, I uh, got on the phone with her, someone I knew, I knew from other re ways, and she's diagnosed, and, and I arranged to get on the phone with her, and I asked her, have you laughed today? She was like, have I laughed today? Well, kind of like, how dare I laugh? I've just been diagnosed with cancer. You don't laugh. <laughs> I was like, that's exactly when you laugh. You laugh, laugh at it. Kick it to the curb with laughter. Kick it to the curb with love. Give it, kick it to the curb with hope. 
Humor, hope, and heart are what the three words are that we wash everything. Chemo buddies for life. We believe that 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 you can do this with a buddy. And if it's your buddy is a furry buddy or a scaly buddy or a feathered buddy, that that works. We just believe you should not isolate yourself. And, and to be able to have someone that understands, that is really important. So I wanted to come live today and, and first of all, let everybody know in witnessing, yes, ta-da, I am still here. Yes, I may be wearing a hat. And yes, I may not look like I normally do, but that's okay because you know what? I'm one of those people that I could be considered myself a support person. And I could also, you know, we when we love someone that's going through something like this, we have our issues. That's why in Chemo Buddies for Life, we believe in buddies for the patient. And we also believe in buddies for the support buddies. Because the support buddies, which would be Sharon's mom and her family, those people that love and support her is how we put it. They have their own element of stress. And, you know, I can tell you, my heart's been racing. My sleeping hasn't been normal because, you know, when you love someone and they're going through something like this, I'm being completely real and raw, guys, that it's not always pretty and it's not always easy, yet it is completely doable. And it's so much better if you have a buddy. And that's why we believe in the buddy system. I want to um, share something I found when I was looking through. Um, Sharon doesn't share pictures of herself much, and that's for reasons. Um, I have never seen Sharon, though. I know her very well. I've talked to her nearly every day um, for the last, often, you know, for the last year, contact one way or another by voice or by messenger or text or whatever way. And I found this and, um, you know, I thought how appropriate and, um, and bear with me guys, cause I'm going to do a couple things. I want to, I want to share her video that we did in her voice. So you understand if you are watching this and you don't know who Sharon is, you'll know who she is and what she means to us with the buddies. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come back to this in a moment. So I'm going to take myself down from the line and bring up uh, her video and get it started. Um, and this takes me a little process. So bear with me, make sure the sound is on. Um, and I am going to start it. I am the senior ambassador for Chemo Buddies for Life. What it means to me to be the senior. I am the senior ambassador for Chemo Buddies for Life. What it means to me to be the senior ambassador is an awesome feeling. I live to be a chemo buddy for everybody including my own buddy it is an honor to be the ambassador for the chemos i have been with tamara for a year now and it's awesome to get to know each and every one of you that have uh, sent me a friend request to be a service hero i have met so many awesome people they are my friends and it is an honor for them to accept me as one of them. I thank you all. I love you all so very much for you are dear to my heart. And I enjoy each and every one of you that have reached out to me. Pretty awesome, right? She's an incredible woman with an incredible heart. And um, what I would like to be able to do now is say that the reason I think I got booted out of, of Facebook is because 
the timing, the way this all worked. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night Friday with my heart really hurting. And I had that one happen one other time before when a family member had had a severe heart attack and ended up passing away within that evening. And um, I didn't know if it was something that was my body or if it was what it was, but it woke me up and I went on and I found one of our international buddies that had said, are you aware? And um, I wasn't. And so that got me, you know, of course, going into finding out what was going on. And I'm the kind of person that when I am feeling something, I put my energy into it. You know, I'm very proactive. It's like, I got it. I got to do something to, to be, to, to help. And the way I could help was to 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 put myself in to this um, con. I guess you call it a contest. I call it a program. The next impactor, uh, because I know that the exposure that we can get for chemo buddies for life and the program that we are developing and we're having to do it in such a smaller way than should be because we know we will be huge and global and this is not about me because this is a nonprofit and I am currently the face of it however like my, one of my newer um, advisors on the nonprofit in the on our nonprofit uh, Frank Shankwitz one of the founders of make a wish He's no longer the face of Make-A-Wish. I don't know that he ever really was the face of Make-A-Wish, though he is the reason that we have Make-A-Wish. And that movie is coming out. I put it, the trailer out there on my page today. So excited. It's coming out around my birthday. Guess what I'm going to do for my birthday? I'm going to go see it, my birthday present to myself. Um, and, um, and Frank is such an inspiration I've gotten to know him and he's such a humble man and and he now has make a wish is now a international program that you know what it stands for the buddies network chemo buddies for life healing through connections will be the same mark my words however we will make it happen. It will happen. There is no question in my mind. None. So, yes, I'm involved in this particular program right now. And should we get the exposure and get people to get behind us and finally get the sponsorship we need to really be able to start taking this thing and, and building it like we know we can. We have social proof. We are making a difference. Doctors are seeing it. Nurses are seeing it. And there is no reason except for lack of of exposure and I'm not gonna let that be so what did I do <laughs> I got booted out of Facebook I think because I had a fire lit under me and it was that I am NOT gonna sit by while she is she's right now working to get back to us she is I know it and anybody that knows her knows it she's working to be back with us so in the meantime, it is my responsibility being the co-founder and executive director of this amazing organization that is going to affect so many people. You hear uh, you have cancer. The next thing it's going to be, do you have your buddy yet? Let's get you your buddy and let's get your support people buddies so we can get this thing going and you can go through it with humor, hope and art and you're going to win. We're kicking cancer to the curb. Doesn't have the power anymore. The buddies do. We're taking that power. And my sweet Sharon, senior ambassador with her sweet voice, she's just as convicted as I am. You know, we're a yin and a yang, you can say. We've been after it together. I've been going once and she's, so yes, right now things are a little upside down and topsy-turvy because I am trying to run all these different programs and then I got locked out um, so I put my energy into 
the vote. I know that that's not the only qualifier. And I know that as of Saturday, when they pick the top 50, things will change and everything. But I had to put my energy somewhere. So it was that I came to each one of you and and so many of my friends, so many of my buddies, so many of of my family, so many people just said, OK, what you need it, go for it. We we believe. OK. And and we've been able to go up in the ranks. And right now I haven't checked it this afternoon at, at this morning when I checked it. We were we were number eight. Um, and I'm even covering some of my buddies here that I do vote for, you know, and I'm sorry that you may be covered up, guys. But, you know, this is a program of inclusion, not exclusion. And I want to make that clear, too. And um, but however, I needed to put my energy in something that is positive and will help our buddies grow. So she can come back healthy and strong to us and and she will not feel like there's been momentum loss. If anything, she'll be proud of what our buddy program and our ambassadors that she was, has been training. And we just started training our new ambassador group and uh, and the call center that that we're going to, and I have Tamara Lennon and she and I are going to team and we're going to create this, uh, uh, you know, a crisis kind of a situation, not crisis because we're not crisis counselors, but a buddy's situation here. And she was so excited about this. We're going to get it going. We're going to get, you know, the things, but I need the help. Yes, I do. I need the help. And, and um, so Yes, I've been putting it out there. I have been blasting it out there. I got kicked out of Facebook probably because of this. They said it was a security issue, but I have a feeling it's just because I was just getting too much activity and I had a fire. Putting that energy into something positive. And again, how do we support those people going through crisis? We need to find out what will help them through. And sometimes it is helping them to focus that energy of what they it for something positive it may be asking to see where you can help it may be listening like when i got on the phone with with my my adopted mom sharon's mom and listened and laughed and cried and laughed some more she's funny you know where you get her, her get, you see where you get sharon's um humor um and so I'm going to put, I'm going to be shameless guys. I'm going to put the, the, the tag in here or the link for you guys to keep, but you know, um, voting because it's now even bigger than quote unquote Tamara becoming the next impactor for the chemo buddies for life movement, which is huge. It is now in my mind a way for me to support someone that has been supporting me and so many other people. I want to address the call for those people that believe in, in prayer, that believe in whatever your beliefs may be. Hers, she is a prayer warrior. And her mother kept using these three words, four words, prayer, peace, comfort, love. If you can resonate with any one of those four words, prayer, peace, comfort, love, hopefully you see this as inclusionary, not exclusionary, because she is the last person that would ever be exclusionary. There's not anything but total unconditional love in this woman that's what she's made of you know some people are made of sugar and spice and everything nice <clears throat> or snips and snails and puppy dog tails for some uh, we know who they are right wink wink um 
she's all about unconditional love. So I want to play a song. And you guys, I know you know what I'm going to do here. But you know what? I'm pretty predictable at times. And it happens to be one of my favorites from one of my favorite movies. So when I saw this, it was like, okay. You know, because she and I do this. And she and I do this. And I know her heart and her mind and her soul. They're here with us, guys. Let's be with her. Okay. I'm going to play this and then we'll end. Our love is unconditional. We knew it from the start. I see it in your eyes. You can feel it from my heart. Yes, that was from the show, so I had to use it with the clapping in the background. And I put that image of Sharon and her husband up there on purpose. Some of you may have seen it. It's on her Facebook page. Uh, this is her husband, her high school sweetheart, married, children, and she lost him a while ago. Uh, when she was diagnosed with cancer her first time, because this is the second time she's, you know, she's facing stage four cancer on top of everything else. And yet she's been feeding it. She will. Because uh, the buddies, she has a reason to live. 
However, I want you to understand too, that she has in her belief and in particular, I will say mine too, she has someone that will be waiting for her that loves her dearly yet. And she knows that she has her son too, that has passed and her sister. She has so many yet. She loves us, the buddies. She loves us, the service heroes. She loves us, those people that she comes in contact with, her friends, her family. She loves so many unconditionally. In all the world, you'll never find a love as true as hers. She is absolutely spectacular, wonderful, amazing. So if at all you are inspired and if you can, please, if one of these four words resonates with you, pray, peace, comfort, love. If you can be sending them her way, I know she'll feel it. And it may just give her that extra oomph that she needs. Because I know, I know this woman. And I know how much she loves her family. She loves her family. And she loves all of us because we're her family too. That's why she calls me sis or her sister. And I am going to also say, if you can follow the, the next impactor, I'm putting my energy into this. Yes. Could use the reinforcements of what I would be learning and get into this next phase. I hope I will. And, and, um, on Saturday, I will be putting the link you need to share or you have to like the page and then you can be watching as they unveil the 50 that will be chosen to go into the next round. Think of it. Uh, someday it will most likely become like a reality type of a show like some of these other voting ones. I never really watched them, but like um, the singing ones and such that they vote for someone and then they win at the end. And but you learn and you get to work and be coached with these amazing skills and talents and other people, other impactors, other influencers, other people that have hearts and causes that are ex extraordinary. Many of them are my very dearest and best friends. Many of them are service heroes. So you see, I'm not in competition with any of them. I am, however, representing a movement, a cause, a mission, a message, a buddy's network that is going to be global and will help those people facing some of the scariest times in their life to heal through connection. It's huge. It's much bigger than I am. And it is not all about me because it isn't about me. I am the face right now. However, it, I won't be forever. That's why I talked about Frank Shankwitz. He is really, truly one of my inspiring role models right now. And to have him on the advisory board, I can't even say enough about it. When I look at his story, which many of us that are impactors, you'll find many of us have stories in our lives that are not fairy tales. They're not the white picket fences that you would think that someone that's out there to change the world would have. Oftentimes, that's exactly the opposite. And in Frank's case, that is the opposite. However, people that came into his world and into his life helped him to become the man he is. And he, that man is a man that has affected children and their family throughout the world for good. Make-A-Wish Foundation 
one of the best foundations out there. Chemo Buddies for Life, the Buddies Network, Healing Through Connections. Mark my words. Someday will be as huge. No doubt in my mind. None. It's in my stewardship right now to do this. It's in Sharon and my stewardship, my buddies, my ambassadors, my volunteers. It's in our stewardship right now. But this is only a drop in the bucket of the time that the buddies will be in existence. Hopefully, it will not always be to support people that have been affected by cancer. But this is generational, guys. Even if they cure cancer today, the effects of what has taken place on families, the individuals, and those that have been through treatment like myself, I am not who I was before. I am what's considered a new normal. I'm alive and grateful to be. But I am never going to be that Tamara Hunter I was before I sat and heard those three words for myself. I've heard them as a granddaughter, as a daughter, as a sister, as a mother. And then for myself, five people in four generations. I know this beast. I want it kicked to the curb. And you know it, by golly, we can do it with humor, hope, and heart in a buddy system and say, you don't have the power over us. Our minds and our hearts and our souls have a lot to do with our healing. You're not going to destroy our families any longer. You are not going to destroy our, our spirits. You are not going to destroy our souls. We will not allow it. And we will do it by being friends. We will do it something so simple. As a four letter, a four letter word, love. Will you join me? Will you join me? If I get booted out of the next impactor contest, that's okay. I am not going to get booted out of making a difference on a global level with the Buddies Movement, the Buddies Network, Healing Through Connections, through the nonprofit by a name of Chemo Buddies for Life. Mark my words, I am here to stay until I hand the baton of something built to the next executive director. Will you join me? And right now, the way you can join me is voting for me for the next impactor. Yes. Also, will you join me in, I need to raise funds. I haven't been doing that. I need to. You can donate. We have donate buttons on the Facebook page. I don't know that I trust Facebook right now. So we have donate buttons on our current page that we're redesigning so you don't see what we're doing in the backside. but if you were to go to chemo buddies the number four life.org you can donate there there's a donate button that still works we will be unveiling our new website here soon it's we're starting something i'm excited about it i want to thank you most importantly, I want to remind you what I am truly asking is for you to keep my dear friend, senior ambassador of the Chemo Buddies for Life Coalition, Sharon Nichol Wards, Ward, Nichols Ward, in your heart and in your prayers and in your mind, with peace, comfort, and love. Please also include her family and the medical team that is working with her. I know she's working to get back to us. I have no doubt. However, if she is meant to go, 
We will let her go with love. So as I end day number 226 of 365 days of awesome, celebrate success through service. We're in this together. We're in this thing called life together. And together we can make a difference. Whatever our cause and mission and message may be, we lock arms and hold hands. We have a much better chance of doing it and creating a world full of love and good rather than buying into the message that so many want to sell. Let's not listen to those messages. Let's throw them away. We don't need to hear them. Anything that doesn't suit the light and the love that we believe in, just ignore it. You don't need that in your life. Find a friend, find a buddy, serve your purpose, follow your heart, and all will be well. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for your time today. Hopefully I won't get booted out of Facebook, but I am trying to learn Instagram. <laughs> so go to Instagram if you can't. If, and Oh, and also, if you ever get a message that you were blocked, I'm not blocking any of my friends. So don't worry. If you didn't create any shenanigans, you don't need to worry about that. You just know that Facebook is playing with Tamara and Tamara is not going to, she's not going to just, she'll figure out another way to get out there. So Instagram would be my next choice. I don't quite get Twitter, but I'm going to learn it with my friend, Gigi. <laughs> she's doing some research. We're going to learn this thing. And I am on LinkedIn. I need to learn that one too. So, you know, I, I got some learning to do, <laughs> as they say. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Remember Sharon.